seeing things, you know, differently. I, I think it's a big part of like maturing and growing up. For sure, because I went back, I traced your story back in terms of the internet and stuff, not just what I knew, mm. but what I hadn't seen. And the Fader film had passed me by the first time around. Oh gosh, yeah. So I watched it. <laughs> and you know, can you remember the first thing that you say in that film? It's almost like the first thing you say to the world. I haven't watched it in so long. You say, I'm scared. That's well, the yeah. first thing you say, <laughs> I'm scared. And I thought it was such an amazing and interesting, vulnerable way to begin your story on camera. Mm. anywhere, especially a place like Fader, where everyone's just sort of puffing their chest out trying to kind of be on Fader. Yeah. And you were like, I'm scared. Yeah, it's, it's daunting. It's nerve wracking. I think finally I'm at a place in my career where I feel mm. really confident. It took me so long to get to this place. And I'm scared is exactly how I felt at that point in time, especially when I was putting out my first record. I, I felt like I was strapped to a rocket, had no idea what was happening, eyes closed, just jumping into whatever experience was thrown at me. All I wanted to do was work, all I wanted to do was write songs, all I wanted to do was perform. Not really understanding all the other things that would come alongside, um, you know, with my job. I never really thought about, like for me, when I was growing up and I was in the playground and I was like, I want to make music or I wanted to sing. In my head, all I ever saw myself was being on stage as a performer and performance being the thing that I, I always um, envisioned and doing. It's such a pure ambition when you're a kid. You don't think about everything that's gonna come along with it at that moment. No, exactly. And I never thought of the idea of uh, being famous. Um, so it is interesting as I'm like growing in the industry and seeing the different sides of it. It's like, okay, what things do I keep for myself? Uh -huh. What it's, things do I put out? It's, it's so funny you say that. It's a writer's dilemma. In some ways, I had no inhibitions. I was jumping in and experimenting and trying something new. In some ways, I was really scared to... Or it just took me a while to find my voice to write things that were... Like, they were personal to me, but it always in code. Never fully wanting to, like, put myself out there just because I felt like I needed to keep something for myself. And with this album... I feel like I've managed to put so much more honesty out there and be really uh, open in a way that I don't think I've ever had the chance to. I also feel like uh, when I was writing Future Nostalgia, whatever I wrote that day in the studio, that's, that was it. That was like the end of the song. You know, maybe like a couple lyric tweaks here and there, but it would, that was the demo that I would then go and record. Mm. Um, and finish. Whereas with Radical Optimism, every single song that's on the album, I've gone back in and I've rewritten it and changed it and my perspective has changed and my story has changed and the way that I saw different scenarios or different things that had happened in my life um, shifted. And it was, it was a beautiful experience to not be afraid to be like, actually, you know what? I am willing to put this out there. There's this one song, um, which is the last song on the album called Happy For You. Mm -hmm. And I love that song because it, it, to me, you know, it's about seeing someone who you were with move on and be really happy for them. And I probably wouldn't have been able to write that song, you know, on my first or second record because I don't feel like I probably would have grown as a, as a person or as an artist to be able to see someone that you, that you loved move on. Or I, I would find it, I would have found it like... Uh, difficult or that maybe that there was like a childlike... You've been playing a part probably to some degree. For sure. It comes from the idea of, of this fantastic